Coming up, Jalen is back with the team. Went to Purple Diamonds for a couple of years, and now she's back. I'm supposed to be here. Oh, so your daughter on the team now. Did you think it was gonna be easy, breezy, cool? No, sweetie, it would not go like that. The team, you've been cut. Now I'm pissed the f off, and everybody know what the f I'm talking about. The Purple Diamonds! I want the dancing dogs to want to be PD. I'm the coach. Yeah. You not. I can't deal with you. Tatia should not be on this team. You say dancing dogs for life, but then you kick my daughter out. I ain't nobody punk. This week, we are competing right here in Jackson, Mississippi at Millsaps College at the Step Up or Fall Back Dance Clash. Your biggest rivals for the week are going to be Atlanta Glitter, Fierce Elite from Mobile, Alabama, and, of course, Purple Diamonds from Jackson, Mississippi. You guys know that you have a long-standing history with Purple Diamonds on the dance floor. The Dancing Dolls and the Purple Diamonds have had this hometown rivalry going for... It's been going on forever. The judges have They have beaten you guys, you have beaten them. The tie's gonna be broken this week, and I want them to understand that we're coming for you guys. Charles, I'm gonna bust wide open. Also, too, we have our own little secret weapon, and hopefully we'll get a chance to use it this week. Ms. Don is saying that she has an announcement is something special. I'm like, okay, what's the announcement? We have a new member of the team, Jalen is back with the team. Jalen was a dancing doll at one point. She left, went to Purple Diamonds for a couple of years, and now she's back. Jalen was once a dancing doll back in 2010, and she wanted to come back. I told her that she would have to try out. She actually did a really, really good job. I'm a little worried about her only because she's coming from Purple Diamonds, and I don't know how the rest of the team is gonna feel about it. You guys are to welcome Jalen the same way you would welcome any new girl to the team. It's not gonna be no attitudes. It's not gonna be no eye rolling. Nobody's gonna be throwing shade. There was an issue with my mom and Miss Diana. They weren't getting along very well. So my mom snatched me off the team, which is very sad. Miss Diana taught me major at dancing, so I really just want to come back to Dancing Dolls because I feel like there was a good place for me to dance because this is where I started off. And we are having cuts tonight. So get your life. It's time for the Dancing Dolls to focus and concentrate on the Summer Slam competition that's ahead of us. Let's go. Well, Purple Diamonds are the crap. They are the yeah. in the field show. Yeah. They don't. So I think we're going to be just fine. Hey. Why are you speaking hey. of Purple, Purple Diamonds? We were just talking about the Purple Diamonds. I just kind of look over and I did a double take. Mm, that looked like Nashamba. Then I looked again, hell, it is Nashamba. Nashamba was on the Dancing Dolls when Cameron first came to the Dancing Dolls. Nashamba left. And all of a sudden, I heard that they went to the Purple Diamonds. <laughs> Nashamba. I was supposed to be here. If my daughter's supposed white. to be over here, I'm supposed to be over here too, right? Oh, so your daughter on the team, team now. Wow. It comes a time in your life mm -hmm. where you have to reevaluate <laughs> how you feel. <laughs> you gonna tell me what the hell just happened for you to just go, everything is wonderful over here at the Purple Diamond Land, but I guess my heart is just beaming for to be a dancing doll again. Ah. Uh, no, what the hell happened? I smell what? I smell <laughs> I'm serious, it wasn't no problems. It wasn't no problems at all. Oh, no, okay. When Jalen said that she wanted to go back to the Dancing Dolls, I had to really think about some things. I, I know I needed to pray, hold on to the Lord as much as I could so that she can be happy. And that's what matters. Long as Jalen is happy, I'm happy. I'm not worried about it because I know how to deal with Diana. I can find the best in the worst people. And you go to a whole nother rival team. There's yeah. no problem. There's yeah. no problem. To come back to a team with a little bit of problem. problem. Exactly. Well, you finna we have, have a problem. problem. Well, there's a whole bunch of problems that did be <laughs> right. So oh, she could be here spying on the team. She could be trying to see what we got going on. Purple Diamonds can have the whole insight on how this competition gonna go this week. Oh, I'm trying problems. to get it. wasn't no problem. More dancing, no problems. Mm -hmm. All right, let's um, let's do captain's cuts. Michaela, Cameron. This is something new. 
We don't have a captain, so you're gonna have to fight for that position. Every time we start a new competition season, Diana have new rules. This is one of the new rules, because Kayla is no longer captain. Kayla is the assistant coach, and we need somebody to lead this squad. All right, you got one fast and one medium. Back up. This week for the captain's battle, it's going to be two of the best dancers on the squad, Michaela versus Cameron. All right, ready? Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I need somebody that's gonna be aggressive. I need somebody that's gonna give me attitude and personality. The Purple Diamonds, they're gonna come at you. They're gonna throw things at you and you have to be prepared for it. You gotta be able to stand your ground. That's the whole purpose of this. Last week, Cameron remembers how I went with Christiana. You can't hold back on your friends. That's what I keep telling her. So Christiana will be leading fans this week. Okay. So what do you think? I trust Cameron leading. It's just I don't trust the actual intensity. Of course I want to be captain, but for it to be this week, going against our biggest rivals, the Purple Diamonds, ugh, now that's really scary. Both of y'all come stand right here. With you, Michaela, my concern is that you're not seasoned. You've never led an intense stand battle before. My issue with you is that I don't feel like you're going to charge like a raging bull. I don't want you to buckle under pressure, because you do that. Miss Anna says that Cameron is more experienced, and but Michaela gave more intensity, more attitude. Every week she says that. Oh, she gave more attitude. She gave more attitude. How much attitude do you need? Because if I'm not mistaken, Cameron didn't give you that attitude the first time she led, and they won first place. Battling against Purple Diamonds, Purple Diamonds is a seasoned team. I need great leadership skills out there on the dance floor. So, Cameron, you're gonna lead this week. The moment you look like you're about to cry and fold, Michaela's going to lead. Remember, precision and energy, that's what we're focusing on. One, two, come on, ladies, be sexy. Control your cane. Our main rivals are the Dancing Dolls, definitely. Jayla used to be on Purple Diamonds, but now she's on Dancing Dolls. One, round Deja, three, four. Even though I know it's gonna be pretty awkward, you know, the Diamonds are gonna continue to be great with or without her, so there's no reason for me to hold any grudges about it. Five, six, seven, stop. Tiara, do you know what this is? You better act like it. Yeah. What are you doing? Focus! Two, three, and four, and five, and six, seven, eight. It's time for me to do cuts, and I'm looking for the girls to be strong in different areas, and to be strong in being knowledgeable of the moves. If they make a mistake, how quick do they recover? And I look at the girls' faces when they dance. If they look worried, if they look like they're thinking, that person is not gonna make cuts. There are things that Jalen does that I'm gonna have to break her from. Purple Diamonds have a lot of energy, and that's a good thing, but she's gotta be able to control that. Jalen, you're unsure of the choreography. Any little thing I'm gonna cut you for, because I expect for all the new girls to be working harder than anybody else here, because you're trying to get a spot. I don't need you to dance. When I call your name, stand up. Ooh, ooh, cuts are happening. I'm praying for y'all. <laughs> Zatia loves being a part of the Dancing Dolls. Zatia's been on the team five years now. She have dedicated so much of her time to the Dancing Dolls and just trying to become a better dancer. And this year, I hope she has a chance to shine. So would y'all be upset if her daughter makes it and y'all daughters get cut? I'm gonna be pissed. Well, y'all get ready. Ooh. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I like that! <laughs> Azaria, Ashanti, Jalen. Zati, you stand up too. If you're standing, you've been cut. Oh, that's oh. who did make it. So it looked like the twins made it. Star and Sky made cuts. I'm extremely happy. This is like a great night for Selena. <laughs> you know, got her head Lord. Oh! Where's Jalen? She didn't make it. 
Huh? When I saw Diana had cut Jalen, oh, it got real personal then. You're not gonna put my baby through this. You're not gonna pick on my baby. And I know she worked hard on that. Okay, group one, let's go through this. I am getting fed up to here. I am tired of my daughter not making cuts. Woo! We just had a moment. Now, this is that that I'm talking about right here. I'm mad at Diana. It's a power thing. When you in a power position, you pull power moves. And you know, that's all it is, is a power move. You know, it's either bow down or get gone. Now, I have the tail doing that same dance, killing it, killing it. So how can she not make cuts on this? Like, I just don't understand what's going on. You don't realize what you're doing is affecting a child? She know damn well as a tail know that dance. We can't grow if you keep on with the same animosity that whatever you have in your heart for me. That's the way it is to me. Might need to leave. And I am pissed the f off. And everybody know what the f I'm talking about. I'm pissed off. I understand as a parent, since the tear got cut, I understand that. I understand completely. But the way she's reacting and overreacting, that part I don't understand. Diana and I are friends. You can best believe she will know about this. Yes, ma'am. I'm pissed off. All this sneaky, conniving, dirty ass I'm gone. What in the hell is going on? Coming up. You've been accusing me of stuff forever. I'm at a point with Tawanza where I've had it way up to here. You want to whoop my ass? You want to fight? Let's get it. I ain't nobody's punk. Jalen, your part, you're gonna have to nail it. Either you're with us or you're the enemy. It's been a really, really, really crazy first day of practice, and the week is starting to go to hell already. I get a text message from one of the parents that says that at practice yesterday, Tawanza was saying all kind of crazy things about me. I feel like if you got that much beef with me, my face is right here. Hey, Diana, how you doing? Good as always. I'm at a point with Tawanza where I've had it way up to here. Like, I've had enough of talking, of arguing. I know no, I don't know where she don't know know where she don't know the stand. I need to be thinking about the purple diamonds this week. Not Tawanza. I have no problem repeating anything that I've said. And I know for fact that the only thing that I've said is that I don't care for your attitude. The, the only thing I've really said about you, Diana, is I feel like you have a problem with my child. You've been accusing me of stuff forever. Now, you can't say I haven't been nice to you. I haven't overlooked things that you have done. You can't say that because you be telling a bold face lie. And what I've been trying to get you to understand is that my issue is with your mouth, your attitude, and the things you say. I ain't nobody's punk. I had no idea that she would be this angry. I felt like she didn't make any mistakes because what I was looking at, she was killing. That's you. I'm the coach. Yeah. You not. You think that because your daughter gets cut for something that I'm picking on her. But in the real world, Tawanza, I don't do that, and I promise I'm not checking for Zatia like that. And if you felt like that was what I was doing, Zatia should not be on this team. I've done everything that I know to try to deal with Tawanza. I have ignored it, I have overlooked it, I have turned both the cheeks on my face and both the cheeks on my ass. And it's almost like a rotten apple in a bunch, and it's trickling off on other people. And the only thing I know to do is to pull you away from this team and to pull Zatia away. Zatia can't stay. With Zatia staying on the team, I still have to deal with you. If somebody called me talking about their daughter, I'm mad at Diana. Just like the situation with me, me about her daughter not making the captain thing. She talked about you like a dog. If this how we are gonna start this season off, hurt my baby feelings going through some like this, it ain't gonna happen. And, and, and I don't care. Even though I'm looked at as the enemy, Mimi is a wolf in sheep clothing. I'm a wolf. You see me coming, you see my teeth, ain't nothing fake about me. I'm trying to tell Diana, hey, that's a wolf in sheep clothing. That's not your friend, but you coming to me and I'm a damn wolf. I'm telling you, I'm not the only person doing I don't care, Tawanda. This is the problem that I'm having. You're not listening. You want to say what you want to say and you're not receiving what I'm telling you. As much as I care about Zatia and read my lips, I can't deal with you. 
It's over. It's done. You say dancing dies for life. That's what you say. You say DD for L. You say dancing dies for life, but then you kick my daughter out. I can change my ways. We can work. This is the whole point of this. How can we work past this? This don't have to be Me the I solution. To you. At the end of the day, the dancing dolls is about the girls. It's not about the parents. Tawanza has to understand this is your fault. You know what, Tawanza, I just can't deal with all this. I don't want the negativity to continue to trickle down to the parents or the girls. I don't want it in the dollhouse, and I don't want it around me. So I think it's best for you, and it's best for me to just walk away from the whole situation. Please, Miss so. Down. I really feel bad for Zatia, but this is Tawanza's fault. It's all her fault. I need to be focusing on coaching, and I'm not going to let all this drama take my focus away from what I'm actually supposed to be doing. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. I'm moving. Just a second to me. Let me see where they're moving. Two, three, four, five, six, stop. You're only going to get one chance to do this. Purple Diamonds, I'm sure, working their ass off, because they know what y'all are going to get up there and do. Purple Diamonds, they're entertaining, if nothing else. So you guys need to make sure that you're entertaining as well. Hello. Hi, Hi my GDTs. <laughs> I'm here to brighten things up. <laughs> How are we doing today? Ladies, Good. glad you bought the red sunshine. I, <laughs> I worry about Selena a lot. I do have, you know, a little bad news here. I talked to Tawanza. She told me that her and Diana had a little meeting today, and she is not allowed back at the dollhouse. What the hell are you saying? You know, because everything just got completely out of hand. Oh my God, did I just see something I've never seen before? Tawanza is gone. And I'm like, I cannot believe after all these years, Diana did this. The reason she's off the team is because her and Diana can't seem to get along. Diana is just tired of it, and she just put off the team. I really just can't see Diana taking nothing out on a child, but Tawanza is crazy. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to deal with this. <laughs> Let's have cuts real quick. Those of you that did not make cuts yesterday, we're going through cuts now. Wait a minute, whoa, whoa, whoa. She going through cuts again? Like, that ain't fair. I thought when you get cut, it's like your arm broke. You can't put it back on. Making cuts is like a big thing for the parents. Like, oh, my daughter made cuts. Donna still can cut you the day of, the day before. Hell, she'll call you the next day after you already perform and cut you. That's how raw Diana is. Come on, whoever didn't make cuts yesterday, come on. Jam, I want to see if I'm going to use her in the stand as a secret weapon. And we're going to do cuts again, and hopefully, Jalen has her act together and she'll make it this time. Let Diana do what she going to do to no, keep the know. girls happy. No, no, you right. She's getting another chance. <laughs> no. So what's wrong with Jalen getting another chance, really? It's, it's more in that what's building than Jalen. Show me a purple diamond ass. Did you think you was going to come back and it was going to be easy, breezy, cool? No, sweetie, it would not go like that. They don't get no second chance. I'm friends with the bitch, and she still do my child wrong. So you really know she finna let y'all make it. But look, okay. if it's God willing, she'll make it. Coming up, Cameron, you need to dance a little harder. You set the tone. I'm worried that Cameron will not give it her all. It's our hometown rivals, the Dancing Dogs. We're coming to win. the clipboard thrown, because y'all should know this routine. No excuses. I decided to do cuts again today because Jalen, I see that her energy level is there, so I want to see if I'm going to use her in the stand as a secret weapon. So yesterday wasn't cuts? Mm -hmm. I don't know what's what. If it's God willing, she'll make it. If not, that's it. Yesterday, I didn't make cuts for the routines, and I'm scared. They're moving much faster, and they're doing more in that A count than the Purple Diamonds usually do. <laughs> y'all three, I think, still need more time. Jalen, you did the best out of all three. So you're going to make cuts this time. She did. She did. Or she did. Look, look. She did. Clap, clap for the baby. She did. Elizabeth. She did. She did. She did. She did. I can 
tell these moms are trying to haze me, but I'm not having that. I'm not having that at all. You have to support the kids. That's what it's all about. New parent. Yeah. Whatever we say, we just say it. ain't got nothing to do with you. Jalen, you stand up, and you're running get in the middle. Now, the last time we battled Purple Diamonds, they had these two girls come marching, and they were a set of twins. Then they had a girl come out dressed up and pretending to be Sanjay and pretending to get cut. So in this stand, we're gonna use Star and Sky, and we're gonna use Sanjay playing herself. And because Jalen is coming from Purple Diamonds and now she's a dancing doll, we're gonna throw her in the mix of the stand too to get a rise out of the Purple Diamonds. Like, you look like, it's me. She's back, I'm back. Like, I'm back. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, well, I you. know why she made cuts, because they what? need it for that part. Diana know that she needs that problem. I'm pretty sure next week won't go like this week. I know Diana. Diana needed her. So Diana gonna reel you in. She gonna reel you in. And next week, she gonna throw y'all ass back out there. Diana wins again. Because I'm watching this right here. Purple Diamonds to come in with a very clean, precise, well put together routine. And I feel like they're gonna give Cameron a run for her money. Right now, basically the problem is Cameron's personality is not intense. Her personality is not, I want to get at you. Cameron be so stressed out, it's very frustrating and it's aggravating. So I have to keep making sure Cameron knows, don't show it, don't show it in your dancing. And you go out there and do what you have to do. Cameron, you need to dance a little harder. You start it off, you set the tone. Our biggest concern with Cameron is just her intensity. It's almost like eating a piece of chicken without no salt on it. Baby, it's gonna taste disgusting. What I'm afraid of is y'all getting out there and y'all not all the way clean and Purple Diamonds do something simple. All right, go home. What do you think about Cameron, how she's doing? I feel like practice is nothing, because it's just practice. But even how last week Christiana was super strong, when she threw stands, Cameron's not strong. I feel like she can do it. Yeah. I just want her to be more intense. Yeah. And it's going to be hard for Cameron to be intense, because she don't get mad at nothing. It's like she's not an angry person. She didn't have a thuckish bone in her body. Head up. <laughs> She ain't, she ain't like a mama at all. No. Yeah. <laughs> Arriving at the competition today, I feel a little nervous because the girls' endurance was tested so much this week. With Tawanza no longer being a part of this team and Nishamba now being here, I think it changes the dynamic a little bit. I feel like Jalen is a great asset to our team. You know, Zatia was a great dancer, and I hated to lose her, but the parents have to understand that you don't run me, you don't run my team. All right, y'all. We are at Millsaps, and today I expect for you guys to get up there and kill it. I'm pretty sure Purple Diamonds did a lot of studying. Last time we saw them, we beat them at Battle Royale. But one thing I do know, and like I told y'all before, one thing this team does well is perform. Dancing dolls are known for running all over the floor, crazy transitions, high-paced energy, but the Purple Diamonds are known for having high-paced energy and being very, very clean. We're gonna have our work cut out for us this week. Girls, are y'all ready? Yeah. Battle Squad, are you ready? Yeah. D -D -O -L. D -D -O -L. Oh, let's go. This is it, ladies. Today's the day. Right back in Jackson, Mississippi, against our hometown rivals, the Dancing Dogs. We are known for precision. We're known for energy. We're known for putting on a show. So that's what I want everyone to see today. When they see y'all out there, I want the Dancing Dogs to want to be PD. Y'all understand that? Yes. All right. Oh, we got to win this today. I can't take another hit. <laughs> This is what my daughter wanted. Oh my goodness. I can feel the purple diamond parents looking at me, and I know they're wondering why I'm here. 
probably think I'm a traitor or something like that. So they mad with you? Nashamba's sitting next to me at this competition, and I'm glad, because I'm definitely watching her ass. If they come over here and start talking crazy to you, I want to know what they got to say, and maybe we can get the truth out of them to why you left. Hey, girl, she on the right side. DG4L. <laughs> Heads bow. All these girls have had a really rough week with building endurance and being able to dance together, maintaining stamina, and clearing this routine without any mistakes. This is this, this is it. This is what I have been waiting for. It's go time. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. Put your hand on your neighbor. Coming up. The dancing dog! I've seen Cameron dance, Matt, but I think she's gonna have to push this that much harder. I know camera's pressure level is about to burst. Which one is that one? Start from the beginning, say you gonna throw it. How do it full out? Like, I wanna see how you gonna, like, do it, yeah. Just do the first photo cast, I wanna see how you gonna deliver it. Okay. Today is competition day. I'm worried that Cameron will not give it her all. Cameron is not intense, and now that I'm assistant coach, I have to push her to be like, look, Cameron, for real, for real, it's time, like, now. On this part, make sure that scoop, I wouldn't even look away, just look dead at her. And just like, I know she has it in her, it's just that I really want it to come out now, I'm tired of waiting on it. Did you go for everybody, anybody? You can go for the judges, for all I care, just go. The thought of stepping into Kayla's shoes is intimidating because Kayla and I were completely different, two different dance styles, two different personalities, and Miss Diana wants me to be tough and hard, and I'm not hard. Ready for it? So you I want you to look mean. That, that's not mean. Oh, look at it. Think mean, Cameron. Get mean! Nobody is guaranteed to cap the spot. She's gonna have to push this that much harder. Fierce Elite, I was a little worried. You know, Purple Diamonds came out swinging the first day, and I said, all right, come on, PD, knock them down, knock them down. They from Alabama, we from Mississippi, plus we want y'all in this final round. So I'm gonna need for y'all to beat them. and I was really impressed with how synchronized and poised these girls were. They were really, really clean. They looked a lot better from the last time that I saw them. Even though Fiercey Lee put up a good fight, we still had to shut him down. Coming in for our stand battle from Atlanta, Georgia, the Atlanta Glitter! From Jackson, Mississippi, the Dancing Dogs! Hey, hey, superstar! Hey, hey! I know Cameron's pressure level is about to burst, but She's a strong child, she's a strong girl. I know she's gonna do what she have to do, but underneath that tough skin, I know she's probably like, Lord Jesus, help me. Atlanta is more of a hip hop city and knowing that hip hop is not Cameron's favorite style of dance, 
she's gonna have to step out of the box on this one. I have to prove to everybody out there who thinks I'm too nice, too soft, to get out there and show them that they're wrong. Against the world, it's us against the world. I don't know what the judges are thinking. I feel like the team did an amazing job out there on the floor. But at the end of the day, it's really going to be up to the judges. And the competitor for my next round is... Coming up. This is the moment we all been waiting for. Jalen, your part, you're going to have to nail it. Either you're with us or you're the enemy. If Jalen gets out there on the floor and she messes it up, this could really cost us the competition. Diamonds versus Dancing Dogs. This is what everybody came to see. Y'all gonna have to kill. When I say faces, mug on, be unbothered. Cameron, are you listening? I want you to have like a fit. I need to be intimidating. It's a really big week this week going against the Purple Diamonds, and it's a lot of pressure on me as the captain. Purple Diamonds feel like they're gonna come back in here and take this. They feel like they're gonna beat y'all this time. Shanika said, the old PD is back. They should have never left. And Jalen, where's Jalen? Your part, you're gonna have to nail it. Either you're with us or you're the enemy. If Jalen doesn't do what she's supposed to do and she gets out there on the floor and she messes it up, this could really cost us a point and could potentially cause us the competition. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our finals of our stand battle competition. The Dancing Owls and the Purple Diamonds. This is the moment we all been waiting for. The Dancing Dolls and the Purple Diamonds are tied. We need to break this tie today. You know what can't stop. I look at you and I go crazy, crazy. I love it when you call me baby, baby. It's what you do that makes me hazy, hazy. It makes me want to be a lady, lady. Dancing Dolls, Jackson, Mississippi. Purple Diamonds, Jackson, Mississippi. It's very intense in the room right now. We have Who You With, PD. DD for L, that's all I'm hearing right now. Miss Diana, I deserve this captain spot. I have to show her that I could have lots of attitude and everything. I'm trying to like put all my thuggishness and everything inside of Cameron from just teleportation. I'm like, Cameron, please just, just get it. So right now, I'm just worried about Cameron. I'm like, ha! Oh, Miss Diane, sir, you thought she was gonna do what? Nah, never, but Cameron is giving it to him, and I'm like, yes, darling, yes. Yeah. Product of Mimi.
It doesn't matter who's leading the dolls today. I know who's leading the diamonds, and that's my captain, Natalia, and she's gonna handle business. The purple diamonds brought out the sticks. And I'm kind of like, OK, when you bring a prop, the prop is the stand. The prop is going to be the casket closing on you. This stick is going to shut it down. And the stick just was a stick with tape on it. You know, Selena's been jawjacking about wanting star and sky and the clouds and the trees and the forest, grass, being the damn stand. Well, Selena, this is as close as they're gonna get. Oh just love to say yeah. You fashion week without the camera on. Doing your thing out on the dance floor. Black Swan, Leotard, looks so good, but you in the ER. We all, we all, we all the best. Wanna know how we won the West, and I wanna know how she got in that dress. Oh, oh Lord, it's time to pour that. See on the scene and I'm acting on it. Where we go? I go crazy. I walk over to Star, or whichever one it is, you're cut. I walk over to Sky, or whichever one she is, and I cut her too. Not only did I cut her, I broke the clipboard. That's how hard I cut you. So I give her a shout. What's your grand stage? You be killing it now, murder. Hey, I ain't mad at you, baby. Got skills in class. You We're not done. Here comes a twist. It's Jalen's turn to prove that you can actually handle it. If Jalen doesn't do what she's supposed to do and she gets out there on the floor and she messes it up, she won't be back, trust me. Coming up. The judges have made their decision. Feel like I'm about to puke. In first place in our stand battle category. We all know Jalen was a dancing dog. Jalen went over to Purple Diamonds, but now Jalen is back with the dancing dogs. I just hope that it works, because if not, this could be a tragedy. You never really show, you just go. So I see that Jalen comes out in the stand. And you know what? I gave her a hand because I trained her, so all of my work is showing out there. So thank you very much. There we go. The music gets me started. As we're doing the stands, I look across the floor and I just see all of the purple diamonds and I just see all their faces like, are you serious? Is that Jalen? And I'm like, I gotta do it, y'all. I'm sorry. Jalen got to do what she got to do. The music gets me started, makes me go. The music gets me started. Being back with the dancing dolls, I feel complete with my decision for Jalen. If she's happy, I'm happy. Look forward to seeing her perform, making cuts, and just enjoying herself. Jalen came out during this stand just to let the Purple Diamonds know, hey, I'm back over here where I should have never left in the first place. I could look at Shanika's face. She was a little like, damn, they did that. I know. The host 
is ready to announce all the awards. And I'm nervous because I saw the Intent Dolls do a great job, but I saw Purple Diamonds had hot spots in their routines as well. And I feel like I'm about to puke. Coming in first place in our stand battle category. One thing I know about the Purple Diamonds, they play it safe. Dancing Dolls don't play it safe. And knowing that they play it safe could be to their advantage because a routine can be really simple and be really clean, and it can be a routine that is extremely difficult and not so clean. So I'm hoping that we don't lose points for that. From Jackson, Mississippi, the Dancing Dolls! <laughs> Woo! We won. I don't know how much more Diana needs to see that Cameron is ready for this. She knows in the end she's done everything that you can possibly do to be a captain. I'm feeling really, really disappointed. My girls got out there and killed it. But this isn't the last time the dolls and the diamonds are going to meet up, so we'll see what happens next time. <laughs> This week was a roller coaster, but I'm excited that we beat the Purple Diamonds. You know, all the drama this week should have really, really poisoned everything that we tried to do this week, but it didn't. Everything ended up working out for the betterment of the team. Y'all should be extremely proud of yourselves. Extremely proud of yourselves. Now, Miss Thing, when I said get mad, you got mad. Cameron didn't back down. Cameron pushed. With everything that she had, she's gone through the captain's battles every week, and she knows what she has to do. You did a really, really good job, so congratulations to you. It's a reason why I push y'all like I do, because I see it in you. The potential is there. I know what you can do. I don't think everybody really expected for the show to look like it did and to flow like it did. Oh, before I forget, before I forget, where's Jalen? So Jalen did Jalen.